you're doing really well out there. I've come upstairs today for a bit of a change of scenery. Hopefully it's not too windy or the agents of the Matrix don't start with their hydraulic drills, which is quite often the case when I talk about subjects of this nature. Before I get into it guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz really helps me out. And don't forget you can check out my work, check out my course uh, at my website times.org. Um, but without further ado, let's get into today's topic, which is basically entity attachments. I get a lot of emails from people, people asking me, you know, how do you know if you've got attachments and how do they attach? I've, I've done interviews about this stuff, but I wanted to make a specific video for people. So let's start by saying that everyone is subject to interference. Everyone has attachments, everyone has overlays, everyone has etheric implants. Some people have a little bit more going on than other people. I don't really like using the word targeted because then people sort of fall into this like victimhood and you know the, the, the emails I've had down the years you know people are scared to leave the house in case you know an entity jumps on them and they're just completely paranoid. This is not the, this is not the intention with this you know we need to understand them but we can't live in fear of them and we have to go, go on about our day um, with knowledge right so uh, it, it's very important that you don't slip into fear and victimhood because essentially that that's a feedback loop because that just makes it worse you know if you're in a state of fear and anxiety over this stuff then you're probably going to get more attachments so so that's the first thing to point out is that everyone is subject to interference and Unless there's like a plug that sort of takes us out of that interface that we have with the fourth dimension and everything that resides there, then we're always going to be at the level of some kind of interference. Um, what we can do that through energy work and energy training is less than that. So we can get that way down where our thoughts are not being hijacked so much or, you know, we, uh, we feel lighter in our energy field, so to speak. So how do you know if you've had if you have an entity attachment, a, a, a sort of let's say a a more problematic one? So I grade this one to three in my work. I say level one is like a full-on takeover. We've all seen the movies, you know, where people are fully possessed. People that take drugs like flacker or um, uh, meth, something like that, where the person can have almost like superhuman strength. Um, and a lot of people talk about, you know, priests and stuff like the, the priests that come in and do that stuff. They don't they don't rid the entity. When you study these cases on the surface, they might go a away for a little while, but then they, generally they come back worse. And there's even been cases where people have died where they've been fully possessed. So um, the intention of clearing the entity will anger the entity. Um, these entities, they get angry when anyone tries to clear them, right? They don't want to be cleared. They, they don't want to be toast, right? So anyone coming in trying to upset whatever they're doing is going to infuriate them. And and this is why people can get uh, interfered with before sessions and things like that, right? Because these entities, they know that they, you know, they, 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 they don't want to go, basically. Um, so... That would be like a level one takeover, like I say, where the person can almost have superhuman strength. There's been reports of the eyes turning black and that kind of thing, or like the stare. Um, then you have what I would call like a level two uh, attachment. Now, these are very common. Uh, they can, uh, on, in the extreme forms, um, they will often induce suicidal thoughts. The person will have constant thoughts of suicide. And quite often they, they won't be coming from them. I've had people down the years say, I, I get these thoughts about killing myself, but they're not coming from me directly. And I've spoke about the case where the, I had a client where, that said that the voice was telling them to drive the car into the wall when they were driving. And they were like, it's not coming from me. So that would be like a, a more severe attachment. Now, they come in where if the person has suffered some kind of severe trauma, maybe like sexual abuse, um, and it makes sense, you know, that a lot of these rituals, what the, um, I don't like calling them elites, but they, uh, they induce these entities to possess people. 
Um, and so they're very problematic. They're, the the entity will have a lot of control over the person's thought. It's constant negative feedback, negative voice chatter, um, where it almost kind of dominates the person's life from day to day. Um, so they can come in and like maybe like an accident, a car accident, a person would have been fine before, and then after the accident, they they they're constantly getting these suicidal thoughts, or um, a case cases that come up quite regularly for me down the years where someone's taken some kind of DMT or plant medicine, ayahuasca, where again they were fine beforehand and then after they completely smashed their consciousness to pieces, uh, they're, they're starting to get these severe voices constantly. Um, and what I would say, schizophrenics, um, you know, I've done interviews with Jerry Marzinski, if you want to check those out, he worked in... Uh, psychiatric word awards for 30 years and he talks about the voices in the head these are simply just severe entity attachments um, so the level two ones are quite common um, and they can all be dealt with right so um, and then and then you have your, your your level threes your you know they'll be encouraging your bad habits you, you they'll be trying to put put in thoughts that they know are not going to be for your highest purpose, even to the, the minutest degree. So uh, anything that's beneficial for you, maybe you think oh, I'm going to start this business and it's going to help other people. They'll be the they'll be like the, the the voice in the head. No, no, you can't do that. It's not going to work. You're not good enough. Um, even down to the point where you know you you might think, uh, you know what, I'm going to go for a walk along the beach today. Because when you when you go out in nature, you you your energy field meshes with that of nature, and that's why you feel better. Um, and so they'll be like, no, no, it's going to rain, or do it tomorrow. You're tired today, or I mean, don't get me wrong. We we can't blame everything on entities, right? Because as humans, we have willpower, so we can bypass um, a lot of these voices. But when they're constantly there, you know, it makes things it makes things more problematic. Um, and quite often, you know, you, they'll be like, you'll be sitting there and you'll be feeling fine. And then all of a sudden you're starting to feel down, down about life, starting to feel depressed. Well, the chances are that there's some kind of interference that, that's come in there. So um, the things that open you up, obviously I've spoken about multiple times on on the channel a lot of the things that we have in society um, induces entity attachments you know things like alcohol I mean really none of us should be drinking alcohol at this point of the game like we know what it is it's poison um, it well from a physical point of view you lose a lot of the nutrition um, but energetically it opens you up, it opens portals. That's why they call them spirits. That's why people change. That's why you'd be out with Dave and you'd be like, wow, Dave was crazy last night. I've never seen him like that before. Yeah, that's because he's being hosted, temporarily hosted, because he's opened that portal up. Um, obviously, drugs goes without saying. Um, psychedelics is, is one that people in the plant medicine community they don't want to hear it they don't want to hear that when you take those me medicines quote unquote and you smash your consciousness to pieces you're you're opening yourself up um even even weed again that's very triggering for people a lot of people in the alternative media think that smoking weed is great and all that kind of stuff well it alters your frequency, and any time that you alter your frequency, you, you're opening yourself up, right? Um, even down to the point where you get triggered. This is why doing the inner work is important. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still get triggered. I'm not perfect. But when you get severely triggered or you have a, a big argument with someone, have you ever had a big argument with someone and you just feel energetically off, sometimes for days afterwards? That's because you've altered your, your frequency down to a point where you're working at the level that they operate in. And so it becomes easier for them to infiltrate. So, I mean, of course, life happens and we're going to ha have fallouts with people. But 
it's just knowing that the uh, general rule of thumb is that any time that you alter your consciousness, that opens you up. So, and the other the other question that people have a lot of the time is um, the types of entity attachments that are, that are out there, and basically in my experience 10 years now working in this field is that there are thousands of different entity races and there are entity races within entity races and you have all the stuff within the new age like goddesses gods egyptian goddesses greek goddesses they're all entities you've got genie entities you've got serpent entities you've got dragon entities You've got uh, false light entities in terms of angelic beings, um, quote unquote, not so angelic really. Um, and you've got the, um, the friendly alien entities, you've got demonic entities, you've got reptilian entities, um, you've got clown entities. Um, so it really is um, in that realm, in that astral realm, it really is teeming with with these entities and what I say to people is uh, things like channeling um, even down to spirit guides higher self these are all entities that masquerade I speak a lot about the channel I speak a lot on the channel about how these entities can uh, shapeshift and masquerade themselves into something that is more desirable to you um, and so people within new age communities that are channeling, they are literally just channeling these, um, these entities that are masquerading as beings of light. So whenever you're going into the fourth dimension or you're looking to connect with anything in the fourth dimension, you're playing uh, their game. You're going into their... Um, their ground. If you look at it like a, a football match, you're going into their, the away ground. And a lot of people, they get triggered because they're like, oh, well, you know, is there nothing good here? And I've said before, you know, I'm not saying that there's nothing good in creation. I'm sure there is. I mean, there's good people in this world as well. But in that dimension, uh, in this matrix, it is there's nothing really there that you want to be connecting to. And the safest thing is obviously to connect to the inner self. And this is why meditation becomes problematic because a lot of the time when people are meditating, they're trying to connect with something out of there, outside of themselves. Even, even down to quote unquote God. Um, so the safest thing to do is always to go internal, always to go inside. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I wanted to talk about today. So if you've got any questions about this, just leave them in the comments section below. And uh, I'd love to hear, you know, what you have to say. And like I say, guys, you know, I've been doing this work for 10 years now. So I've got a decent handle on how they operate. And we just need to be very careful. And we need to understand how they work. And you know, live our life in ways that we can help protect ourselves. We're never going to be, like I say, completely clear of all this stuff. Um, but understanding how it all works um, can really help us moving forward. So take care, guys. I'll speak to you all soon.